Good morning, Tigers. Today is Wednesday, September 8th, and welcome to today's On the Prowl. I'm Samantha Singer. I'm Jay Korzynski. And I'm Brooklyn Nave. On today's Prowl, we talked about the cross-country meet last week. County's Got Talent is coming up. And Picture Day. All this and more on today's On the Prowl. or have any talent that you would want people to see, come out and try for County's Got Talent. For two successful years, and now hoping for a third, County's Got Talent editions are coming up. Auditions will continue from September 9th and the 15th from 3 to 5.45 p.m. in the auditorium. Good luck and be sure to audition on time. There's an NTHS meeting coming up. It will start at 8.25 a.m. and they will be discussing t-shirt ideas. Meetings will take place in photography. Today there is a Sigma Phi meeting and it will start at 3 and end at 3.30. You will sign up volunteering making fluffies for the float. Don't miss out on volunteering opportunities. Homecoming representatives for this year have been selected. For the class of 2019, they are Alexis Butler, Hannah Heinsen, Jade May, and Sophia Mendez. For the class of 2018, it is Morgan Bakanowski, Katie Baduke, Stephanie Brookshire, and Madison Forbes. For the class of 2017, it will be Alicia Lum, Nadia Schellenberg, Adela Sierchich, and Taylor Taraglio. For the class of 2016, it will be Samantha Hanley, Lucia Izolo, Shay Melendez, and Carson Van Campen. Congratulations to all of the representatives. Certificates will be sent out soon, and final eight voting will be this Thursday and Friday. The football team had a crushing victory Friday over Fort Pierce. They beat them 31-6. to Wow. And didn't Cross Country have a meet last week? Yeah, and there's a Powder Puff meeting coming up. Okay. In other sports news, Cross Country hosted their Under the Lights meet last Friday. Here is Brian Acevedo with the story. This is Brian Acevedo reporting for On the Prowl. We are here at Hal Patioke Park where the boys and girls cross country team host Under the Lights. Let's go take a look. Ah, what the cross country has been training vigorously all summer for this season. Keisha and her team is hoping to beat their previous times. Um, well, last year at the end of the season, uh, the week after, I got down 1949. Um, and it doesn't count in our race season wise so I'm working on getting back down to that and getting signed for college for uh, cross country and track. The team encourages one another as they run towards the finish line trying to achieve their goals. Michael Hurt explains how his teammates influence him. Well coach Browning, coach Browning just preaches every practice you know finish strong keep that growth mentality you know just keep working as hard as you can and then I have these guys behind you that they're just awesome all right you know they I'll be running through a race and I remember Last race, like in freshman year, this guy named Henry Duvall, you know, about to cross the finish line, and he said, push it, push it really hard. I sprinted as fast as I could, and I ended up pr so shout out to Henry Duvall, you're the guy. <laughs> Where is the Where is Ashley placed 22nd in the girls' rank. When she starts to get discouraged, she reveals what motivates her to keep on going. Mostly my teammates and my coaches motivate me the most, but it's mostly Keisha and Alicia. They motivate me to do my best, even when I'm feeling my worst. They tell me to go faster, no matter how much pain I am in. I always have to try my hardest, and the faster I go, the faster I get to finish and get the best time I can. Congratulations on your great performance tonight, and good luck on your future meets. This has been Brian Acevedo reporting for On the Prowl. Back to the news desk. Great job, Cross Country. Good luck on your meet this Wednesday, and come out to support your Tigers. Cross Country Spirit Night is tomorrow night. Spirit Night will be held at the Indian Street Hurricane Grill and Wings and is from 6 p.m. to close. Powder Puff is quickly approaching. Mandatory Powder Puff meeting is being held in the library on September 16th at 8 a.m. The varsity football team won their second straight game, beating Westwood 31-6 to open the season at 2-0. 
Tristan Simmons scored on three touchdown runs while George Johnson connected with Notorian Tyson on a 27-yard touchdown pass. A lot of football this week. Both JV and varsity have a game. On September 10th, there will be a JV game at South Fork against our high school rivals, the Bulldogs. The game starts at 6 p.m. And then on September 11th, the varsity players will be going up against Okeechobee right here at Martin County High School. The game will begin at 7 and it costs $3 to get in. So make sure you come out to support both nights and support your team. There is a swim meet today at 6. The meet is at home and will be against Centennial. Make sure to come out and support. That's all we have for you today, Martin County. I'm Samantha Singer. I'm Jake Korzynski. And I'm Brooklyn Nave. See you next time on On the Prowl.